Shark Day here, back with another video. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a current subscriber, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today, I'm coming with a video about credit, okay? How to get you some credit cards with no credit check, okay? Now, keep in mind, some of these cards will check your credit, but some of them won't. So if you're interested, definitely keep watching. You can get right into it. So, card number one will be Capital One card, right? So I do have a Capital One card, right? Now, I do not remember them pulling my credit at all, right? Now, keep in mind, you have to put, you have to at least make a certain amount for them not to pull your credit, for them to trust you. Um, so that's how I got that card. Capital One will literally provide you with at least four cards. So two personal and two business. And I think they offer secured and unsecured. The card that I have, I believe it is unsecured, which means, you know, I, I have a certain limit, but I just continue to use it and pay it off. Like I don't have to, I didn't have to put, I didn't have to give them money first for me to, for, for me to be able to use a card, like a secured card, right? So I do have one secured card with Capital One and that is the only card that I have, right? And at least I will say this after at least, a, I think it was a year and a couple months of me having that card, they increased my credit limit by $500. So that also increases your credit score as well. So as long as you, you know, continue to pay off your credit cards on time, pay your bill on time, you can offer, they do offer rewards like they increase your credit limit and they offer you um, a referral link. So if you get a referral link, you can definitely refer your mom, your dad, brother and sister, friend, close friends, whatever, to your link. And you can get up to $500 in incentive for referring them to your link. So that's something good about Capital One. Capital One is a very good, um, company they also offer loans and stuff like that you can also get your um get refinancing with them and stuff like that so definitely check in with capital one because you can definitely get a card with no credit check capital one right so boom credit card number two will be a victoria secret credit card right now i do have a victoria secret credit card my limit is 300 dollars right now victoria secret did not run my credit at all this is how i did it i actually did a shopping cart trick which i learned which is basically you go to the website you um put a limit of at least 70 70 dollars worth of items in the cart and then you out here going to check out but then you don't check out right and it's very vital that you actually create an account and put your email in because once you don't check out they will send you an email saying hey you forgot these items in your cart and then they will offer you they offer you an incentive for signing up getting the the victoria's secret credit card right and i know with the victoria's secret credit card you can use it at victoria's secret and you could use it at bath and body works i do believe so those are the only two stores that you can definitely use your card in it is a credit card so be mindful that once you swipe you do have the monthly to pay it off and yeah and stuff like that so you do have to pay off the credit card on time it does work just like a credit card you know and stuff like that and then victoria's secret card they do offer 300 dollars limit and i think um once i got activated they offer me a coupon where I can receive, if I spend a certain amount, I can receive a free pair of underwear. So that's something you can do, whether it's in-store or online, you can definitely use it in-store or online. But Victoria's Secret credit cards are good because who doesn't love underwear, bras, panties, perfume, and stuff like that, if it's from Victoria's Secret. I know I used to wear it all the time and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it works in the pink store, but you can definitely try it out. But yeah, mostly Victoria's Secret, you can definitely use that in the Victoria's Secret store, right? The third credit card would be the Good Sam's credit card, right? Now, Good Sam is their house full of a whole bunch of things. So they have stuff like camping stuff, outside stuff, electronics, different types of gear, anything that you would like, they have it at the store. Now, this credit card can only be used at that website, right? I'm not sure if they have a the store but you can definitely go to the website they have uh, thousands and thousands of things that you can use um that you can definitely buy with the credit card and this limit was it was 300 as well now i will say this they did run my credit and i did get an inquiry on that one so but it didn't happen until the car came in the mail so um you do have time it like it being an inquiry on your credit you can definitely send in letters and stuff like that and dispute it or whatever or whatever you have to do to get the inquiries removed but like i said it, it, it was no credit check no inquiry until after i got the card which was it came in the mail like at least three weeks later so it was close to a month so just be mindful when you're applying for credit cards sometimes 
um, you will get an increase. When that happens, you can definitely dispute it before it shows up on your credit. Just be very mindful that sometimes it won't show up till later. So just in case that happens, just go ahead and be in the dispute process um, as well. And there's different people on YouTube who have credit card companies who can help you dispute within 12 hours, within four hours and stuff like that. They could de definitely help you. So just be mindful and work with them and stuff like that as far as getting the increase off your credit but yeah those are definitely three credit cards that you can get that offer no credit check and op and also if you get an increase you can get it removed so those are definitely three cards that are definitely unsecured that you can use and definitely use to build your credit and stuff like that as long as you pay it off on time and stuff like that so everybody who wants to build their credit in 2021 contact these companies and get access to these cards even if you're a student if you're a working mom if you are just a regular person if you're a dad if you're just um a business person definitely start building your credit in 2020 once you can purchase anything that you want i hope this video helps y'all and yeah stay tuned to my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me down below i'll leave my socials don't forget to turn on my post notifications hit that bell